and welcome to the Sunday School lesson for Sunday, August 16, 2020. I hope you guys are having a great week. It's a little bit earlier in the week uh, than when I normally have this recorded, but I will be out of town when I would normally do that. But no matter where I am when you watch this video or where you are when you watch this video, um, hopefully it will be a wonderful opportunity to get to know um, Jesus better. So. Um, if you watched the Saturday video, if you attended the Saturday service, or if you attended the new psalm service, you will have heard words from Psalm 67. They have did the whole psalm there. Um, but uh, today in Sunday school, we're going to go over Psalm 67, verses 1 through 3. And it says, May God be gracious to us and bless us make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. So this is a psalm asking God for his blessings and also praising him for his blessings. Now first one, that should sound really familiar. Okay, if you've been in church, it should just sound completely familiar to you. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. If you've ever been to church, pa what the pastor says, you know, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he uh, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. That is the benediction that is said every week in church. Uh, this is an echo of that. And um, the one that you hear in church comes out of Numbers chapter 6. That's in, that's in the Old Testament. So in verse 2, it talks about God's saving power among all nations. So um, we definitely have things that we need to be saved from. Um, the easiest one to think of in our uh, time here in the year 2020 is that crazy virus. We want to be saved from that. We want to keep safe from that. We want to get rid of it. Um, it. Here in Florida, actually anywhere, but especially in the last few days, I've noticed a lot more, it seems like, a lot more um, storms and stuff. So we want to stay safe and be safe from those kinds of things. Um, but of course, what is the biggest thing we need to be saved from? The biggest thing we need to be saved from is our sin. Because our sin separates us from God. We can't be with Him. We can't be in heaven, that beautiful place that we've talked about in other Sunday school lessons, because of our sins. So that saving power from sin, it's not just for um, the Jewish nation or for, for the Israelites. It's not for just for Americans. It's not just for um, people in like China. It's for everybody. God wants to save everybody. He did it for every nation, for all nations, like our verse talks about. Now, before Psalm 67 was written, um, God talked to a man named Abraham. So here's Abraham, uh, and then just to kind of represent it a little bit, God's talking to him, so we have it shining down. God talked to Abraham, and this was a long time ago, and he told Abraham that he was going to have children, and those children would have children, and so on and so forth. And his offspring, um, his his great 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 grandchild, would bless the whole earth. He would bless all of the families of the earth, not just his own family, but all of the families. And Jesus is one of the great 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 grandchildren of Abraham. So Jesus is blessing all of the families of the earth by saving them, of course, saving them from their sin. And we'll get to in a minute here. He's blessed all the families, and he blesses them with the way that he lived his life. He never sinned, never one sin. He never told one lie. He never hurt anybody. He never... Um, 
said a curse word. He never worshipped anything other than God. He never sinned. Ever. Okay? So by living that life, and then, of course, by dying on the cross, he took away our sins, and then he defeated death by coming back to life. We talked about that on Easter, and I know that it's been mentioned in other Sunday school lessons. So, all of that, everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And I just quoted from... Uh, John 3.16, um, which is a very famous verse. If you don't know it yet, I definitely suggest you look it up. It's in the fourth book of the New Testament, uh, John, and it talks about, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting so God so loved the world. That brings us back to all nations, That's the, the nations that are talked about in Psalm 67. He went out and died for everybody. Verse 3 says, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. We have so much to praise God for. I know right now we have this virus going on, and there's some other scary stuff going on in the world, and um, some of us are stuck in our houses, and... Um, things are really hard right now, but even with all of that, we know that God is watching over us and that God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Jesus died on, he just, he died on that cross to save us from our sins so that we could be with him and go to heaven one day. And that is something so much to praise God for. So, let's praise God. All of us, we're part of those nations that Jesus came uh, to bless. That Jesus, the descendant of Abraham, came to bless. So let us praise God for that. One of my favorite songs to praise God with is called the Doxology. So we're going to sing that. Um, I know it's sung in church frequently. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So let's keep praising God, the one who came to save you and me and people of all nations. All right, I'll talk to you next week. God bless.